Okay, it's time from the Productive Garden again. And what I'm going to talk about today is one way to trellis up or create a climbing environment for peas and beans. Now one thing you can use, you can just use a straight trellis like this with a bit of wire, but you might not want to row like that. There might be situations where maybe you're doing a, a companion planting situation where you've got one or two um, plants of beans, bean plants or pea plants, and you want them to climb up one structure, you don't want a, a row of them like this. And what you can do is you can build something that is more like a, a teepee or a tripod or a, or a pyramid type structure. And we'll go and have a look at one I've already built and then I'll show you how I did it. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We've got three sticks bound together at the top and we've wound some rope or twine, whatever you want to use around it to create a, a frame for the peas or beans to climb up. Now you can make this whatever height you like. You're only limited by the, the, um, the length of your stick. And I've only made it this high because it, it's nearly at the top of where the bird netting will go over. And if I make it much higher than that, there's not much higher you can go anyway because I'm going to be limited by that. But this will be high enough for these peas to climb up here and give them a structure to climb up. So what I'll do now, I'll show you how I've made this. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, now what you're going to need to build this tripod, pyramid, whatever you want to call it, is some sticks. Now, I'm going to use three. If you wanted to, you could use four. You could go all out and use five or six, however many you like. But three or four is enough, depending upon how you want to make it. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to place these in the ground. And all you do is stick them in the ground where you want the frame to go, angle them in so they meet at the top. Okay, so we've got those two there, and we want this one to go so it can support this plant here, so we'll put that there. And just put it in the ground, just so they've got some sort of support from the ground as well. Okay, the other thing you need is some rope, twine, something like that. Now what I've done is I've just tied a loop in the end, and that gives us a point where we can start, we need to bind the top of the sticks right here to hold them together. It gives them a bit of strength. So what we'll do, put this loop around here, pull this rope through, try not to get it tangled, sometimes easier said than done. Okay, and before we get before we pull it too tight, we just want to gather the sticks at the point we want them to be bound together, and that's about where I want it. Okay, so if I can slip the knot through, that'll give it something to bite on and bind to. Okay, so there we go. We've got the top bound there, and what I'll do, just to make it bind a bit more, I'll just wrap it around a couple of times. Okay, now what I'm going to do, just to, what will make things easier in the long run, is just to gather the rope up in a couple of coils, and this, as you, you need to wrap the rope around, this will allow you to manage the rope a little bit more easily than if you have to have the whole length just trailing around. And what we want to do now, hold this tight, and find a point down here, where you can start to wrap it around. Now what you want to do is take it around and take it up between the rope and the stick so it goes over the top. And what that'll do is it'll hold it in that position. Okay, and what we can do is we can start wrapping it around. Now when you wrap it around, you can wrap it around the sticks. Now, you can, you can go around with it going down, or it can sometimes be beneficial to go over the top as well. It just holds the rope a bit differently, but as long as you wrap it around, it'll, it'll pretty much keep it where, where you've put the rope. And just work your way down as many times as around as you like. There's not really too many times you can do this. 
the more you go round, the more levels that you'll have. So we just keep doing this. Right, and what you want to do, when you get to the end of it, you want to make sure you get one level that is nice and close to the ground. Okay, so we'll get one level nice and close to the ground. Try and keep the rope from getting too tangled. So nice and close to the ground here. And then when you're finished, you just want to tie it off just with a simple knot. Just tie that bit off there. Okay, so the reason you want that last bit to be nice and close to the ground is you want something that the peas or beans can start on. Okay, so what I'll do now, I've got these peas that are planted here. I'm just going to place them at a point where they can start climbing on this trellis. So we want that point nice and close to the ground that they can start to, to climb on. Okay, so we'll just place them there. I'll place it between here just so it's less likely to fall off. And there we go. These, pea, these peas can start growing up here and form a little pyramid or teepee, tripod, whatever you want to call it, of peas growing up these sticks so what I, what I like about this is it's something that is easy and quick and easy to um, construct you can see here these are just sticks that I've gotten from a pruning and this is just rope that I've had lying around so inexpensive I mean the sticks cost me nothing the rope I guess I paid for it in the, in the initial thing but that was just here so it's cheap easy to put together and it's effective and that's really what you want okay um, hope you find this helpful and till next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.